Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. This is going to be about the energies between you and the person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. We're also going to look at where all of this is headed in the near future. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Aries watching and not every Aries reading will resonate for you. So take what applies. If you find that it doesn't resonate much for you, then check out the Aries playlist. It's linked in the description box. Lots of readings there for your sign. All right, let's jump right in for Aries. Spirit angels. Oop. Guys, what do we need to know for Aries? What do we need to know for Aries? The guidance, what messages do you have for Aries? Regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with, at this time, Spirit, what are the energies between Aries and this other person? What do we need to know for Aries? Okay, current energies, the Wheel of Fortune, the Five of Pentacles, okay. On your side, we have the Eight of Pentacles. And the Six of Wands. On their side, we have the Six of Cups. Five of Cups. Interesting. We'll put the future energies down here. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Cups. So I feel like this could be a happy connection. It could be a connection where you get your happy ending. But I don't think that's happening right now. You're working on success. Maybe you have a business. Maybe you're doing really well. Maybe you're thinking that all this connection needs is a little bit more time and effort to be successful. We'll see what that's all about. But your person's having regrets over the past. They're stuck in the past here with the Six of Cups and the Five of Cups. So we'll see what that's about for them. Aries, if you're interested in learning how to interpret the tarot for love, how to learn the meanings of the cards specifically for love, um, check out my book, Love Tarot Made Easy. It's this book that you see here, and it's available on Amazon with prime shipping, so you can get it nice and quick. It's linked in the description box if you're curious. All right, Spirit, tell me about the energies between Aries and this other person energies between Aries and this other person okay we have reach out and difficult decision so I feel like contact is probably very minimal right now because I think that you need to reach out to each other one of you needs to reach out and communicate um, there's definitely a block here with difficult decision I can feel it yeah unhealthy attachment so there's something that's preventing you and this person from being together I feel it could be an unhealthy attachment um, and that is pretty much anything that affects a person negatively. So toxic environments, toxic partnerships, unhealthy attachments with family, with um, partners, with coworkers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, addictions, all that. So let's get some clarity here. Nope. Clarity, please. Insight for Aries. The Wheel of Fortune is here. It's the only major arcana on the spread. So I think there is this energy of things happening in the right time and the time that it's meant to happen. Some sort of lucky break or a lucky turn of events. We'll see. I want to start with the Wheel of Fortune. So get some clarity, please. Insight for Aries. For Aries, please. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune spirit. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Aries? Two of Cups. Oh yeah, I feel like there is definitely a connection that's coming together that hasn't been together for some time, I feel. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. 
This is feelings of abandonment, feeling left out in the cold, difficulties, financial difficulties as well. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Ten of Cups. So yeah, I feel like this could have been a happy connection, but something happened, Aries. Something happened that prevented this, or maybe it didn't end well, despite it being a good connection. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Two of Swords. Maybe someone made a difficult choice or the wrong choice. Or maybe someone could be making a choice right now because difficult decision is here. That changes things, right? But they just haven't been able to make that decision. This could be your person because they have the Five of Cups. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this Ten of Cups? Eight of Swords. Yeah, and the Magician. So I feel like someone is able to make something happen here, able to manifest, but they're blocked either by fear or just they're thinking but not putting action behind it because I have the Four of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. So this is the block, you know, we're, I'm speaking to an Aries where the block is that someone has not been able, because this could be you Aries or your person, they have not been able to pull the trigger on something. There's a difficult decision here and someone hasn't made it yet. So let's look at your energies here. I have you on the left, Aries, and your person on the right, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you, because the energies can be vice versa. Spirit, can I get some clarity, please, for Aries, regarding the energies between Aries and this other person? Tell me about Aries. Tell me about Aries. Unexpected income and toil and labor. I feel like some of you Aries have been like working really hard. Um, maybe you have stability. Maybe there's an issue here with a career, a job that, you know, it's like you're thinking about it. You're thinking about money. You're thinking about career, businesses. And I don't know if this is regarding you specifically or your person. But it's almost like, once again, this energy of work hard, put in work, put in time and you get a result, unexpected income, which could be like an ace of pentacles. Tell me about the person Aries is dealing with. Message of concern, okay, and then what's this? Imprisonment. So I feel like this person is scared to send a message here, perhaps because they don't know how you would respond or perhaps they have something concerning to tell you and they don't want to tell you. It could be either of those things. Let's get a hidden truth. Can you get some insight, please, for Aries? Tell me about the person Aries is dealing with. What do we need to know about them? So many things remind me of you, thinking about you here. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Yeah, they're thinking a lot about you here. With um, Sometimes I stay awake and so many things remind me of you. I feel like you are not talking to this person. Maybe you haven't talked for some time. Tell me about Aries. I love you. Yeah, Aries, you care about this person. You still have feelings for this person. Um, I think the issue though, I, for some reason I'm getting that for most of you, you, this decision is not up to you. It's up to the other person. I feel like if this decision was up to you, you would have made it already in a way here. I mean, Aries is very um, decisive, so <laughs> I feel like you would have already done whatever was necessary here. Let's see. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Aries? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The Five of Cups. Okay, so you have the Five of Cups as well. So whatever this Five of Cups is, this whatever regret over the past this Five of Cups represents, you're thinking about it as well. Disappointment, regrets. Maybe you both have regrets. 
Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Maybe something from the past. It requires time, energy. Three of Cups. There's, there could be a third party here. This makes sense. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Someone could have um, gotten married because the King of Pentacles is here or has a long-term partner. And maybe this is what's taking time and effort to like decide upon or something like that. Maybe this the Three of Cups is blocking a Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Um, I feel like someone messed up in the past and it's affecting both of you now. Tell me about the Six of Wands. What's the Six of Wands look like? For Aries, what's this about? The Hermit, Virgo energy. Knight of Cups. Okay, yeah, I feel like in your mind, if this person, you could be dealing with a Virgo or an Earth sign. It does not have to be, but I feel like if this person were to just apologize or reach out here with this Knight of Cups, you would have success. Because the Two of Cups is here, so this already is a special connection. They have the Six of Cups. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is here, so it's like you're getting an assist from the universe. There's the Two of Wands, and someone just needs to make that choice. Someone needs to make that, that choice, choose that path. The Knight of Swords is here as well, so maybe this is all due to like communication. Someone pulling the trigger, sending that message. Um, it's not happening. <laughs> you know, the, the message is not being sent. The discussion is not being had, you know? And it could very well be, Aries, that this person wants to do it, right? Maybe this person wishes that they could just make this decision and be a magician. But maybe their hands are tied because I have imprisonment, stuck energy there. We have unhealthy attachment here. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Tell me about the Six of Cups, please. There's the Six of Cups here. The Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, so they think about the past fondly, and I think you're there. You're in the past. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Oops. Nine of Swords. Again, with the fear. I don't know what happened between you, but I don't think what happened between you and this person was good. Um, or maybe it didn't end good. Maybe you had something like a fling or something that was short-lived or something like that. Um... I'm also getting that for some of you, this person made a decision in the past that keeps them stuck now and they're like too afraid to deal with it or maybe they're anxious about it, fearful dealing with things like maybe they're having like depression or difficulties and they're, you know, hoping that they could be free independent with this nine of pentacles. I see that as well here. Tell me about this five of cups. Maybe a past decision, you know, has is affecting them negatively now, and all they can do is think about what they could have had. Tell me about the Five of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune, okay? The Wheel of Fortune shows up twice. Tell me about the Five of Cups, please. Six of Pentacles. So I feel like they're, the universe is helping here, or at least giving this person a chance, but they have to give to this. The things don't just happen on their own. There's the Page of Swords and the Page of Wands. So they need to just take initiative here. Communicate. Um, give a little bit to this so that they can get something in return. Because the universe, I feel, is willing to assist, willing to help out here if they only put a little bit of effort. Where's all of this headed? Knight of Swords. So... This makes me happy because I feel like there's a message on the way. Someone could be shooting a message here, sending a text. This is pretty sudden with the Knight of Swords. It happens very quickly. The Fool, awesome. New beginnings, risks, taking a leap of faith. It could be that this person decides to take a risk here and send that message. Um, you know, maybe they have... They're concerned about the delivery of this message or how someone would receive it. And maybe they just decided to just bite the bullet. Oh my goodness, of course. The hangman. We can't, you know, there's no such thing as just having it all, right? <laughs> I feel like this person, the message is all that they can do. I think that that is risky enough for this person. 
because I feel like they're going to still be kind of stuck or dealing with something um, because the hangman for me um, there's a lot of thinking happening with the hangman but no action there's reflecting they're seeing things differently there's you know you're you're seeing things from a different angle and get, getting clarity all well and good but um but there's no action behind it hmm let me get i want to get a romance angel i've been looking at it can i get some more clarity insight on this connection between Aries and this person and it could very well be that this message that they're sending you is telling you about how they're stuck um, how they're not happy how they're dealing with something and it's gonna take time to like make it work uh, time to become unstuck time to deal with this unhealthy attachment spirit tell me about this and um, this connection between Aries and this person chemistry and forgiving and learning um okay so there's a strong connection here bottom of the deck is true love there's a strong connection here between you and this person um but i also feel like there's a lot of forgiving and healing that needs to happen because i feel that one of the issues here is that there's very little contact someone needs to reach out but i feel like things didn't end so great because they're very hesitant to reach out you know and i think it's because perhaps if they do reach out to you it might be an apology and those are a little harder to do so you know especially if you're the one that was wrong otherwise i'll leave it here aries i hope you enjoyed this reading i hope it resonated for you um, if you enjoyed the reading or enjoy how I read, then don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me out a lot and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.